Since ash dieback, often called Kalara, was first discovered in England, the Forestry Commission and DEFRA have been working closely with landowners, woodland managers and local authorities to manage the impact of this disease. The Forestry Commission has published revised guidance on managing woodland with ash in it. This guidance has been produced with UK researchers and practitioners, as well as taking advice from those on the continent who have been living with the disease for 25 years. We hope through this guidance to help woodland managers maintain the benefits of their woodland while managing the risks of health and safety from dead and dying trees. The ash tree isn't going to disappear. There is some natural tolerance, but as there's no known cure for the disease, we have to focus our efforts on managing our woodland with the disease. We strongly recommend that before starting management or making changes to any existing regime, that you produce or amend a management plan. It's important to remember that felling of diseased ash still requires a felling license from the Forestry Commission, unless it's actually dead or poses a real risk to members of the public. The guidance covers a number of scenarios, but in practice, a hybrid solution may be required. In all cases, speak to the Forestry Commission before you act. We will continue to evolve this guidance as our knowledge and practice of this disease evolves. For more information on managing woodlands with ash, visit the gov.uk website.